Can you please tell us, how did you go about coming to our church? Well, I've been here on a few Sundays before, but actually my coworker and good friend, uh, Mariana, invited me one Wednesday, a couple of months ago, probably two, three months ago. Okay, awesome, awesome. And when you started coming to church, when did you have your encounter or receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, personal Savior? Well, I've been coming to probably that Wednesday was the first time when I really realized that I have to give my life to God completely. Amen. Amen. So when you had that moment with God where you completely, fully surrendered to God, tell us what happened to your life. I mean, what changes started to occur in your everyday life? Well, I've always felt like I kind of had a void. Um, no matter what, I've always felt like something was missing. I try to fill it with relationships, with school, with work, with things. And it's always, it was just never really enough. And ever since then, I just felt this peace. I've, I'm content. I mean, I have goals. I have things that I want to do, but they're not my priority right now. God is my priority. And the other main thing is really just God's love and acceptance and peace. And I'm trying not to cry. I swear I've cried more in this church than I've cried in my entire life. Every sermon, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't, I can't help it. But, yeah, so I just felt this love and acceptance that I've never really felt before. And right now, my only focus is God. Wow, that is so amazing. Now, can you tell everyone that now that you've been committed to coming to the church and seeing the vision of the church, uh, what is your own personal goal, uh, being a follower of Christ and being part of the vision? Well, at this moment, as Vlad said last Wednesday, and if you haven't seen that sermon, you can watch it online, there are three stages. You have the child, the youth, and the father. And I consider myself more in the youth stage right now, so I'm really focusing on growth of myself and word and prayer and you know your testimony and evangelism. But eventually, I would like to do more and whatever that may be, whatever God calls me to do. So whether it is small group or public speaking or whatever else it may be, I just want to be his servant. Wow. Amen. Did you guys hear that? Come on. Going from having a void to completely being filled, not just, you know, being satisfied with that, but wanting to serve Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever it may look like, she is ready. Come on, you guys. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Oksana, for sharing.